Hello friends, look at what an interesting exercise we have here. We have three squares and we need to find the shaded area of this blue square. Fascinating. Let's first, what we're going to do is subscribe. Just kidding. Well, if you want to, it's not a joke. Now, what we're going to do first is label as always we're going to label here we have this square and let's say its side is x therefore we can say uh, uh, we can say that the area of this empty square here is 18 square meters we will put the units at the end we also know that the area of a square is side by side so if the side is x we can say that x squared equals 18 great now let's label some angles over here, we know there is right 90 degrees away. because it's the angle of this square. And since this right here is a straight angle, this also has to be 90 degrees. Now end. Perfect. Here we're going to have 45 degrees. And can you tell me why? Well, because we're dividing this large square with this diagonal here. So this diagonal also divides the, the 90 angle. degrees that were here before. There was a 90 degree angle in two 45 degree angles. So here we will also have 45 degrees. Very well. If we have 90 here. degrees here and 45 degrees here. How many degrees do I have here? Well, 45 as well. To complete the 180 degrees that every triangle has. Full of assholes. It's internal angles. Very good. Now, if this here is 45, 45, this here is an isosceles triangle. Its two sides have to be equal. Since this is the hypotenuse, this side has to be equal to this side. Therefore, this side also measures x. Very good. Very well. And the same thing happens here. We have 90 degrees. And here we will also have 45 degrees. Because here it also divides into two equal angles. 45 and 45. Perfect. So we have another isosceles triangle. And therefore, this here is also x. So the side of the big square will be 2s x plus x gives us 2s so here we already have another piece of information we can say that the diagonal look closely we can find the diagonal of the large yes, square if it's the diagonal of the large square we're going to find it using the mighty pythagorean theorem all right so we know from the pythagorean theorem that the hypotenuse is equal to the square root of one leg squared plus the other leg squared excellent we have that the hypotenuse is equal to the square root. Take a look. Look, which is side A? It could be either of these two sides since it's a square. So each side measures 2x. We have 2x squared plus the other side which also measures 2x also squared. All inside the square root. Great. We have that the hypotenuse is equal to the fixed square root. 2s squared gives us 4x squared plus the same, right? 4x squared perfect we're a good till there now what do we have we have two times for s squared we can write it that way two times for s squared and we can take the square root of this term here for x squared so what is the square root it's 2x and within the square root we are left with this fantastic two here here we already have the hypotenuse of this right triangle which happens to be the diagonal of the square. Alright, now what we're going to do is label the square. Because it's asking us for the area, right? So if this is x, we'll call this y. Ready? Then all the sides of the square whose area we want to find will be called y. Perfect. Here you would agree that there are 90 degrees. Because it is the complement of this angle here. This angle is the square's angle, which measures 90. Just like the straight angle. So this also has to measure 90. Since here it's 90 degrees and here it's 45 degrees, the same thing happens as what? before. Again, ladies and gentlemen, we have an isosceles triangle. Therefore, this side of this isosceles triangle will also be Y. Very good. All right. And the same happens here. We also have, right? Sales Spoken. Control. But what happened? Thank you very much. Here, 90 degrees this way. Over here, we also have 45 degrees. And if this is Y, this is also going to be Y. And look what happens over here. See how wonderful. And Adding y plus y plus y gives us the diagonal we already have over here. So we can say that 3 times y equals this Alpha. right here. 2x times the square root of 2. Spectacular. Now don't get lost on me. 
We are going to move this 3 to the other side to divide, and we get it as 2 square root of 2, all over 3. And notice that's what it's asking for. It's asking us to find this square. The area is y times y, say, uh... So what we need to do here is square the height. Thanks. We square both sides of the equation by going here and going there. And we have that y squared is equal to 2. And Sorry, 2 squared gives us 4. By x squared, so x squared. And the square root of 2 squared gives us 2. And all this over 3 squared, which gives us 9. Great, we have that y squared is equal to uh, 4 multiplied by x squared. But x squared Five. here is, look, it's 18. So multiplied by 18, multiplied by 2, and divided by 9. We cancel out 9. And ladies and gentlemen, the shaded area is going to be equal to 4 times 4, which gives us 16 meters. Three blocks. It's easy. Let me know in the comments if you like the video. And don't forget to subscribe and give it a like, so you don't miss the upcoming challenges. See you next time. Bye bye.